Hello friends. Today's spread is that of long distance relationships. How to maintain the feelings that we have for one another even if we are across a long distance. It's a six card spread and uses the entire tarot deck. Let's get into it. Card number one. Do we trust each other enough for this to work? Sad that that's something you have to ask, but Distance makes relationships difficult. Card number two, have we sufficiently prepared a plan of how we are going to end up in the same city again? Card number three, is it possible to arrange visits or corresponding work trips that we'll be able to see each other more often? Card number four, can we set up times consistently to speak with one another either on the phone or through a video call or some other method. Card number five, have we put enough work into our plan on what to do when there are disagreements so that we don't just give each other the cold shoulder? And card number six, are our support networks sufficiently strong to support us through this type of relationship? We're gonna shuffle the cards and see what they have to tell us. We are once again using the Tarot of the Owls. We'll see how this goes. Okay. And full transparency, this is just a demonstration how I would read these cards if they were the ones that popped up for someone I was doing this spread for. And here we go. All right. Card one, card two, card three, card four, five, and six. Okay. Well, this is 50-50 on major and minor arcana. Lots of reversals in this. Okay, here we go. Card one. Do we trust each other sufficiently for this to work? We have the chariot reversed. The chariot typically represents swift changes. Being reversed, there is something slowing you down in regards to this. There are some lingering doubts that you will need to address. This doesn't mean it's impossible, it just means more planning is required. Card two is the Three of Wands reversed. This is another card about direction, about having a plan. It's fitting that it corresponds to the question, have we put our plan in place well enough for this transition, for this long-term, long-distance relationship? Being reversed, there's still things to talk about. You haven't finalized talking about a lot of the important issues. Card number three, are we going to be able to rearrange our schedules to see each other? The Four of Swords, upright, notably the only upright card in this spread. The Four of Swords is about taking a breather, a moment of rest. You've been worrying so much about how to organize your schedules to see each other, you've not paid attention to the bigger issues of the relationship at large. Take a moment to breathe, stop worrying so much about specific dates, and instead try to set up systems that will leverage success for your relationship. Wow, did you hear that coyote? That's right in my front yard. Hopefully I don't have a mess to clean up in the morning. Getting back to the reading, card number four, the star, reversed. Have we set up a system that we will be able to communicate effectively long distance? The star being reversed, star is normally hope. It is directions. Wow, that coyote really wants to make sure we know that the star is important. The plan is in place, but it doesn't feel real yet. You have the capacity to make it real. Card number five is justice reversed. It corresponds to the question, have we made a plan on how to avoid growing apart due to miscommunications? Justice being reversed implies no, you have not. You have the idea of something, but it's not equitable for both partners yet. Card number six is the Three of Swords reversed. 
The Three of Swords is heartbreak because it's corresponding to the question, do we have sufficient support networks? It sounds like neither of you are going to have a support network if you are long distance. At least not one to weather that type of storm. Consider what social groups you would be able to join in your new locations as you are separated. Whether that be a church or a volunteer organization or a crafting guild, find something that will allow you to interact with others in a healthy way to help support you when you need it. That brings us to the end of this demonstration of spread number 62, the long distance relationship spread. Let me know in the comments if you agree with this interpretation or if you have some suggestions on different things that these cards might mean. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.